So now we're taking it up a notch to try this example, arc tangent. It looks nothing like that. I know. How are we going to do it? Wait, there's more. So we just saw earlier that we had 1 over 1 plus x squared. This was the previous example. is equal to 1 minus x squared plus x to the fourth minus x to the sixth plus x to the eighth and so on and so forth, right? Now what if, what if you could take the integral on both sides? Integral uh, with respect to x, with respect to x, what would happen if you did that boldly? I'm not saying that you can, I'm not saying that you always can, but what if you could? Because um, there will be another story to that, it'll say like, when can you take the integral of both infinite series, blah, blah, blah. Usually the answer will go something like this, whenever the series converges or whenever it converges absolutely or some variation of that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. For now, what if you could take the integral on both sides? We'd have to say, well, the integral of this is arctangent. Well, arctangent of x, as a matter of fact. On the right-hand side, that's equal to x minus x squared, x to the third over 3, plus x to the 5 over 5, minus x to the seventh over 7. I'm just integrating all of these term by term, x to the 9 over 9, and so on and so forth. So I get, look at this, another bridge. Milk in the ferry all came from here. On that side, we have arc tangent, so not a polynomial. It's equal to on that side, total polynomial, polynomial 101. Of course, it's a little bit special. It's an infinitely long polynomial, but so what? We're not going to let that stop us. Take away the joy. This is a polynomial. This is an amazing bridge. Not a polynomial, polynomial. You can get with this or you can get with that. It's amazing. Um, but wait, there's more. Oh wait, what if you wanted to write the actual formula for this? You say, well, these are all odd numbers. You see, there's one, three, five, seven. These are all odd. So I bet uh, I'm gonna have x, and the odd ones would be picked up like this: two m plus one. And then on the bottom, I have the same odd number, so I have two m plus one. Then I have alternating signs, so I bet I have a negative one and alternating signs. Let me think. The first one's gotta be positive, so I'm starting off with zero. So I'll slap an n on there. I reckon that works as n runs from 0 to infinity. Check it out. Arc tangent, amazing, amazing bridge between not functions, functions. The world of Mondays, the world of Fridays, maybe, <laughs> because it's infinitely long. But it's incredibly a lot easier to work with the polynomials than arc tangent. When you're calculator, on your calculator, when you punch in arc tangent of whatever, 0.72, it's not doing our tangent, it's really doing this. Okay? And you might ask, well, when do you stop? Well, however many little spots your calculator has, however many however much accuracy it has room for, it'll stop whenever it gets to be that accurate. The longer this is, the more accurate it becomes. And it's infinitely accurate if you add it infinitely many times. Alright, peace. We'll see you guys here for the next example. Come back.